The owner had left this dog tethered to a tree. You won't believe the dog's retaliation after a year. Sadly, this man was among those who shouldn't be permitted to own pets, since he tied his little dog to a tree and left it to fend for itself. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. The story started with a man who one Christmas received a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy as a present. The man used to adore his new pet and would play with her for hours on end, take her on walks, and show her so much affection. The puppy appeared to enjoy her new owner and fit right in. She felt her owner loved her very much, and there was no one else she would prefer spend time with. The man would take his new puppy down to the apartment's courtyard two times a day so she could spend some time running about and getting some exercise because he didn't have a garden of his own to allow the dog run around in. For a time, things appeared to be going well for the two, but suddenly everything changed. The man started dating a woman he had met at the workplace. The man started spending more time with her than taking care of his dog, as the two appeared to get along well. He would frequently neglect to walk the small dog and, on a few instances, even to feed her while spending the night at his girlfriend's house. Because she disliked the dog and did not want it around her, the man's girlfriend would always insist that it be kept in the bathroom when she visited his home. The guy complied, locking the poor puppy in a room by herself for hours on end. The man and his girlfriend decided they wanted to move in together and pursue their love after a few months of dating. Nonetheless, the girlfriend's rule was that the dog was not allowed to accompany them. In order to keep his lover, the man consented to get rid of the dog. The man learned that there would be a surrendering charge after looking up how to turn in a dog to a shelter. The man traveled to a less populous location and discovered an abandoned house since he didn't want to spend money on something he didn't think was worthy. After parking, he removed the dog from the boot. He led her out into the deserted property's backyard where he discovered a robust tree. As the naive dog was contentedly exploring her new surroundings, the man grabbed her leash and securely fastened it around the tree trunk. The dog started to yelp and whimper when she was unable to follow him, but he got back up and continued walking away without ever turning around. The tiny puppy, who had very limited access to food and water, soon started to lose strength and weaken. For the first few days, she would bark, wail, and whimper for her owner to return for her dot. She had lost a significant amount of weight and had all but given up hope of being saved after a few weeks. However, after that, everything was different. One day, a man by the name of Kyle was passing by the deserted home on the street. Although he didn't generally walk that way, he chose to take a longer walk somewhere a little calmer because it was a pleasant day. Suddenly, he heard a disturbance as he passed the home. He wasn't sure if it had been a high-pitched wail or something else. He paused to hear whether he would hear it again. And sure enough, he heard the whining again dot. The man became perplexed when he realized it was coming from the abandoned house's backyard. The building's abandoned facade made it obvious to him that no one lived there. What, then, was causing the sound? Fearing that a wild animal could have become entangled in some trash and required assistance to escape, Kyle started to move into the backyard. However, what he discovered devastated him instead. The staffy dog was there, tethered to the tree. Kyle was initially perplexed as to why and whose dog it was that was present. But as he approached, he soon realized the reality of the situation, which infuriated him greatly. Kyle realized that the dog had been purposefully put in the tree, knowing full well that she would soon starve to death, when he noticed the leash knotted around the tree. The puppy was malnourished and obviously wouldn't have survived for very long so it was fortunate that the animal-loving man had arrived in time. 
Although Kyle was aware that he needed to assist the dog, he was unsure of how to go. He was hesitant to approach the dog right away since he wasn't sure if it was hostile or dangerous. In light of this, the guy stood and gave the dog his word that he would return before hurriedly leaving the property. About 30 minutes later, Kyle came back and he was more prepared this time. He had a new leash in one hand and some dog food in the other. The puppy started to wag her tail when she saw that the guy had returned. This was encouraging to Kyle, but he was still wary about approaching her. He started tossing food in her direction while standing a few steps away and slightly outside the reach of her leash. The dog was pleased to have food in her tummy once more and enthusiastically consumed the meal. Kyle persisted in doing this for a few more times before daring to approach the dog in order to touch it with his hand. He and the animal quickly became friendly and he gave her repeated assurances that he would assist her. The puppy dog appeared to comprehend him as she started to wag her tail once again. Before putting the new lead around her neck, Kyle placed some more food on the ground in front of her. After cutting the old lead with a pair of scissors, he finally released the dog from her harness. The little puppy enthusiastically followed Kyle as he led her to the front of the house, where his car was waiting, sensing that she could move again. The generous man helped the dog into the vehicle and took her to the nearby veterinarian dot. The dog received a thorough health examination at the veterinarian. She was severely malnourished, and the veterinarians estimated that she was just six months old. Other than that, though, she seemed like a young dog in good health. The little puppy quickly won over the hearts of the whole veterinary team, who named her Nellie. The tiny cat frequently showered her rescuers with hugs and kisses, perhaps out of gratitude. Kyle promised to care the dog while she recovered in exchange for their assistance. The little puppy was first anxious in her new surroundings as she was unsure of how to act. This was due to the fact that during her last stay in a house, she was frequently left alone in separate rooms. However, Kyle made care to show her lots of affection and cuddles and assured her that she wouldn't experience such horrible treatment ever again. Nellie didn't take long to emerge from her shell and transform into a happy, content dog. Over the course of the months, Kyle discovered that he was infatuated with the dog's disposition. She was bursting with enthusiasm and vitality, but most of all, she just wanted to shower Kyle with attention and love, as if to say, thank you for saving her life. When the time came to place Nellie for adoption, Kyle made the decision to adopt her since he was unable to do it for himself. Nellie was back to her wholesome, gregarious self a year later. She showered Kyle with affection, and he gladly returned it. The two went on to enjoy happy lives, thankful that they had come across each other. Sometimes it simply goes to show that enjoying life to the fullest, regardless of what other people may wish, is the finest kind of retaliation. Please leave a comment below with your thoughts on the story. And remember to like and subscribe for more incredible stories. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.